Welcome back to Heroes and Whiskey. We are printing our way through the D&D Monster Manual, and today we are printing the lowest form of demon kind, the pathetic manes. Now, if you want to go down the D&D rabbit hole, uh, do a Google search for how do you pronounce manes? Is it manes? Is it manus? Is it manus? Is it plural? Is it singular? You know what? No one really knows. So we're just going to go with manes. It is the manes. So this mains is from Loot Studios. It's actually called something else, but we'll get to that in a second. And there's really not a whole lot to say. A mains is designed to be a pathetic lump of rotting flesh. And that's exactly what this guy is. My paint job doesn't really do him justice, but you can see in this render just how pathetic this thing looks. So in terms of how it printed, there's not really a whole lot to say. I mean, it's a very small figure, and typically those print really well, and this one did. Uh, the spikes on his back are, you know, they're quite sharp, and so the details really came out. Again, my paint job, I think, kind of ruined it. So this guy's from Loot Studios. He's part of the Nightmares of the Abyss set that we got back when we were looking at Orcus. Uh, they actually call him a Capetan probably because they're not sure if mains is plural or singular either. If you are looking for mains or a main on my mini factory, there's a handful of choices. There's this one from Schlossbauer. They obviously thought that one main was a main. One mains was a main. Uh, there's this one from Realm of Paths who thinks that one main is a mains. And then Epic Miniatures makes three of them. <laughs> this one, this one is my favorite. The mains eating guts. Although they, they also think that one main is a main. But if you need a main multi pack, you can get one from Epic Miniatures. In terms of size, you can see he's just about three or four feet tall, which is about right. So in terms of resources, because he is part of that set uh, from Loot Studios, did not cost us any extra. Uh, he's small, and so we printed him alongside some other figures, and so our total cost is still at $412, and our total time is at eight and a half days. So if you need something uh, pathetic and lumpy, uh, this is your go-to guy. If you need a multi-main set, I would check out that one from Epic Miniatures. Uh, next up, we'll be looking at the six-armed serpent demon, the Merolith.